Jeff Mixon, and this is another episode of the Civitas Institute's Talk of the State. Joining me today is John Davis, uh, North Carolina's premier elections forecaster. Uh, we've just completed a decision maker poll lunch where Mr. Davis was our guest analyst, and we're going to talk about elections today. So, John, welcome to uh, Talk of the State. Thank you. Um, let's start at the top. Let's talk about North Carolina and the presidential race. Uh, what did you see happen there? Well, I saw an extraordinary commitment uh, by a Democrat in the state, especially to uh, organizing uh, staff. He had 47 offices, 400 page staff. He came here eight times. He spent millions of dollars on TV, but especially organizing uh, uh, his team to register and turn out their vote. Uh, it's truly unprecedented. It worked in the primary. It's why he, uh, he beat... Uh, Clinton by 14 points, and then uh, he continued that uh, polishing up that machine for the fall. Extraordinary turnout! So he lifted all Democrats in this state with that uh, with that machine, and of course carried the state because of those uh, skills learned as a community organizer uh, in the ability to organize folks to register and turn out voters. I've heard you mention this before, but the the fold-out table in front of Walmart. Tell us about that. Absolutely. Uh, throughout the state, and this goes back to the primary, when uh, hundreds of thousands of new voters were being registered, uh, his, his uh, method of operation was a young person sitting in a folding table uh, uh, in front of Walmarts all over this state all day. Uh, if anything, uh, the Obama camp should be commended for doing the hard work of winning campaigns and sitting in front of Walmarts all day registering voters week after month after month, which is what they did in this state all year, uh, led to their good success. Well, you oftentimes hear that a campaign say, uh, we don't have the assets, or the resources to do a lot of these things, but apparently money is uh, a salve that heals all wounds. Well, certainly money was no object for the Obama camp. Uh, he raised more money uh, than any presidential candidate in the history of the country. Uh, last count, $650 million, and uh, uh, parlayed uh, that, that money, his organizing skills, an unpopular president, a lackluster uh, Republican uh, nominee at the top, uh, top of the ticket, uh, into success. Uh, he's now in the White House. What lessons uh, can, can candidates of the future take from Obama? Well, I think uh, there are two great lessons. Number one, you need to start early with organizing uh, for things like voter registration and turnout. But number two is the new technology uh, in reaching out to the new voter, the under 50 voter. Uh, these young people um, are, are ready to lead themselves. Uh, uh, they don't want to be led anymore. And this state is, um, is, is attracting young people uh, from throughout uh, the country. Uh, we have gone from 3.3 million voters in the early 90s to 6.2 million today. So almost 3 million new voters and two-thirds are not from the South. Mm -hmm. And most of them are, are, are young people. So they're coming from big city states like Pennsylvania and Connecticut and Ohio. Uh, they come to North Carolina. They're young, well-educated, and uh, very independent-spirited. They're not loyal to either party. And, uh, but you have to appeal to them differently. You have to be able to text message them. Right. And you have to be able to advertise on the Internet. Right. Because that's where they go for their news and that's how they communicate. Right. They, they might not be tuning into the 6 o'clock local news to catch exactly. that TV ad. They're so. not. They find their news in an instant uh, by pointing and clicking on their laptop. Very interesting. Well, hopefully uh, we'll take notes about the success and uh, the conservative movement can learn something from uh, this experience. So uh, with me today has been John Davis, uh, Premier Elections Forecaster, joining, uh, joining us next time uh, when we'll be talking about the governor's race. I'm Jeff Mixon, and this is the Civitas Institute's Talk of the State.